all their clauses, part number one, part number two, until part number 24, is very important to read John A, section number one. Section number two as well. Section number two is very important to read section number two. And section number three, section number four. That said, uh, and number five, sorry, number one. Section number one, section number two, section number three, section number four, and section number five. Our exams in this four, uh, five sections, five sections, okay? Five sections, everything clear? Okay, five sections. We have five, these five sections is very important to, very important to check all of them and read of them. This one is not now, it's not an hour. I already sent it all of you. How to, uh, don't hurt, Yani, you can give her the copy. You can give her the copy for whatever you like to read, but don't print because almost how many pages, see guys? 4,571 pages. Don't print, guys. Don't print, it's too much. Just only read whatever as a soft copy. Take it in from WhatsApp group and send it in your Google Drive. I will ask Ravi to share it with our Google Drive. From our Google Drive, you can put it in your system, in your laptop. He says, any, on, only five sections to study, to read. No, 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 it's not a matter of study. You, we, if all of us as a seven engineers, we have to go for all the QCS 2014. To read, or only to read, and read it what? Read it with focus, don't read it in hurry. Read it and understand the concept from your whatever in these sections and parts. Just read it carefully. Because a lot of us not working in a field, but in one the guy working as a site engineer or construction manager, he have a lot of knowledge. But the guy is working in the office, he's far away from the QCS, maybe the designer, maybe consultancy, but still. QCS 2014 is our references for our for all of us as a civil engineer. But we have to go for what? We have to go for these areas only now. After that, take it as a reference for you and review it. This section, again, I am telling guys, section, open it. All of us go for our QCS 2014. All of us, what you said now, okay. All of us now, we said now, we said we have section, you see content? All of us, we have it now in WhatsApp. See the content. Section number one, general. Read what does it mean general. What does it mean general? General, when you have primaries and your site, uh, site, uh, your site uh, setting up mobilization, what you are going to provide, what should you be provided, what should, blah, 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 all. Yeah, and it's sitting out of the work. Temporary work of the end equipment. Timber, all, it's coming in your section, coming in your contract. Condition, if you read your any project contract, you will find a lot of a, a lot of coming extracted from QCS 2014. And after that section number two is quality assurance and the quality control. What does it mean quality assurance and the quality control? In details, QCS, it's in details. Any contract, a, refer to the contract, a, uh, QCS 2014. And number three, layer ground investigation. What does it mean ground investigation? We are going to have it in our soil study. We are going to have soil mechanics slides and decision. We are going to talk about it. Okay. Bear holes, bites, uh, bits and trenches, soil sampling and in situ testing, all this type of knowledge we are going to have it. And the number four foundation and the uh, retaining the structures, you have to read them as well. And the number five concrete, which I am giving you now the slides for concrete and any structure, general notes for any drawings, any go for any structure drawings, the general notes, read the general notes perfectly. Uh, focus in this type of general notes, all the general notes coming from QCS 2014. You are now to read uh, section one to five and a uh, focus in uh, this, uh, this slides and focus on the question in our exams. So that's meaning you are covering all the knowledge related to material, which is coming in your exam, two questions, two number of questions, okay? That's meaning it's coming in your exam. So you read them, 
make it hard to copy or whatever soft copy, read them to copy. Let us go for our slice. Concrete technology, guys, is very simple. Simplest form is concrete consists of based aggregate rocks. All of us, what does it mean? Concrete mix, we have rock, we have rock, the base composed essentially of bronze and cement and water coach of service line and aggregate water, cement and sand. We have, we have through as a series of chemical reactions, the base hundred again strengths from the rock like mass known as a concrete. Cement, we have main two types, ordinary Portland cement and OBC and sulfate, a sulfate resistant cement all the substructures, all the substructure, concrete elements is con uh, from sulfate and any superstructure, any superstructure element which is already above the ground floor is always OBC, always like that. We have a very common questions to be memorized and to be discussed, the extensive use of gypsum, wallboard, wallboard in residential, commercial and industrial construction stems from all the following except guys be careful except low costing well well the ease of installation well the recyclability recyclability choose the correct answer right now what is the correct answer what is the correct answer is yes correct the answer correct the correct answer is c recyclability except we are using because because low costing is of installation the answer c is except recyclability recyclability remember this is from previous exam type okay type of type of cements obc ordinary portland cement src layer sulfate resistant cement and bc bbc is portland Barcelona cement by the way this type of cement is different, different because it depends about the project element of the of the cast, uh, casted element, whatever under maybe in the sea, in the offshore or onshore, whatever. This type of cement is guys is depend about the project, about the element itself. Rapid high rate, slow heat cement. When we casting a dam, for example, a dam, and this dam is having extensive and have a basic, uh, have a huge section. We need a low heat cement, low LHC, and we have Portland slag cement and white cement. All of this type of cement, we have type one, type two, type three, type four. We are going to put it like that type of Portland cement, type one normal, type two is moderate sulfate resistance, type three is high early strength, type four is low heat of hydration, type A, type five is high sulfate resistance sea with sea water okay so cement component three calcium silicate the calcium silicate and three, uh, three calcium aluminate and tetra tetra calcium aluminium thread important notes for the manufacture of Portland cement the proportion is 63 percent lime and silica is 22 percent and other ingredients is 15 percent Sitting time is 45 minutes and the final is 10 hours. In Portland cement sitting time, we have test method and the set up, the layer set up time in initial and the final and time specification. We have a specification, we have 45 minutes and 375 minutes. Guys, all this knowledge is from 2014. For all whatever this slides extracted from 2014, you will find all this information and the knowledge in 2000, 2014, which is coming in concrete section, as I told you right now, section number five. So necessary, it is referred to the ability of cement paste to retain its volume after has been had had get hardened. Uh, hardened. Soundness of cement is probably probability of virtue of which the cement does not undergo any significant expansion. Bleeding, separation of water from con concrete. Method to reduce bleeding is use air entertainment. Creep, a time dependent deformation that's beginning immediately, but continuous at decreasing rate for as long as the concrete is loaded. 
ingredients of concrete, cement, aggregates, water, admixtures, cement, reduce bleeding as much as uh, we have admixtures. We already have design mix. We have grade, grade 20, grade 40, grade whatever. The, re, all the, uh, the concrete is related to grade, whatever the ranking related to the cement water ratio and the type of aggregate. What is the aggregate size and the quantity related to weight and as well is design mix before our in our before any execution any bar contractors to submit a design mix and get approval related to a particular element from the consultant okay cement is reduced bleeding as much as the water cement is exactly as designed and approved as designed that's meaning the water cement ratio this is a game, is a lot of games happen from water cement ratio. Aggregates, check about aggregates. If you have shrinkage cracks, reduce shrinkage. Water, when you have increased slum. Admixtures, a lot of admixtures you can list it down and all the admixtures, everyone have its own features which have, a, which have impacted the concrete strengths. A strength of concrete primarily depends on quality of water, quality of aggregate, quality of cement, water cement ratio. Oh, these four items is very important to have a good a product, concrete product. Which water cement ratio should be referred to? Design mix approved. Concrete hydration means reaction between cement and water. A separation means of water cement bleeding. The weight of reinforcement concrete in kilogram is 2,400 kilogram. This is a standard. In your exam, if you have four options, one of them is 2,700. Second option is 2,200. Third option is 2,100. And the fourth option is 2,400. It choose 2,400. 2,400, this is standard. Memorize, guys. Process of keeping concrete moist is curing for a certain period after casting, curing of concrete. A lot of questions coming to curing. So four or five questions, a different, different, a different, different giving. So once you read this type of slides, one time besides, as I just told you, QCS 2014 and solve all the questions coming in our exam, for sure 100% you are going to memorize all of them and you are going to go your exam and solve any questions correct, okay? Slum test concrete, uh, slum test of concrete used to test workability. Value of concrete cube strength is given at 28 days. What about seven days? Seven days is indicator. Note, slum layers, layers, Slum layers of concrete are required in slum tests. Layer soundness of concrete is tested by low short tear apertures. This is very important to name, to memorize. The soundness already we have coming in your exam. Soundness of concrete tested by four names. One of them is low short tear apertures. Don't forget, don't forget low short tear. This is a common, common question as well. So soundness is Tested by a, a typical, typical test, we call it blue short tear uh, abertures. Type. Function of aggregates in concrete, function in shrinkage, redu reduction, sorry, reduction in shrinkage and expansion. Aggregate as much as you put a, 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 a quantity which is already matching your design concrete approved, that's meaning you put the quantity is reduction in shrinkage of and expansion. Sometimes cracks have been due to aggregate. Some, maybe the size of aggregate is not as much as not already, uh, the concrete is not made by a particular aggregate size, which is already approved, different size, or have dust, some dust covering the, uh, the aggregate. It's not, it's not washed aggregate. Gradation describes the particle size distribution of the aggregates. Why is still used? Is this used as an enforcement in concrete part? We have four, op four option or three option in your exam. It shows the coefficient of thermal expansion is the same as for steel and concrete. This is the major 
a correct answer. Why steel is used as a reinforcement in reinforcement concrete sections or parts or elements, whatever. Good bond to concrete, okay. Easily available, okay. Low cost, okay. I am happy with all this answer, but the, the answer, which is already coefficient of thermal expansion is saying for steel and concrete, this is the answer you choose. If you have four, four option, take option number coefficient. Otherwise, if you have five option and all above, take all above, okay? If this option not available, no, no never. Yana, sir, no, don't, don't worry. This option is not available. Why, guys, you are, why, guys, you are negative? Why? No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. It will, it will be, it will be, it will be. Don't worry. We are memorizing. We are memorizing everything. Okay. Right. Admixtures are used in concrete for increasing strength, reduce heat, to increase workability. A lot of type of features, uh, admixtures have a lot of features which are already put a lot of type. In our uh, specification, any project specification, when we have a particular admixture, we already specified in our specification what type of admixtures, what type of features we will give, everything. It will go for your specification you will find all the particular admixtures. Anyone have a project right now working in a site right now, go for site for the contract and uh, contract documents on specification, the uh, project documents, which is specification on the contract, go through the specification, you have a lot of knowledge related to every type of material. If even ceramic types, if even block, go guys for specification for your project and read it. Some project, this specification, almost 2,000 paper. Yes, some projects, is a huge complex project. Go for a particular areas. Don't go for it because take too much time. But I am advising always, anyone work in a site, go for your project documents. Project documents, which is what? Specification, drawings, B of Q, drawings, B of Q, specification, and contract condition, and what else? Uh, contract specification, drawing, and B of Q, tender, tender the stage, circulation, all these documents is project documents, go to these project documents, read them, and the quality QA, QC plan for the project, check your baseline, check your schedule baseline, check all, read this one, all of you read this one, it will give you more confidence and give you more knowledge. Soil investigation, surveying report, all this one, Admixtures not enhancing curing. Mm, sometimes, no, no, who told you? Sometimes we put admixtures related to curing to reduce that time of curing. For high rise building, if you have 60 floor, if you have 60 floor and you need to finish your project in one year, what type of concrete, what type of concrete you are going to use and what type of shuttering system you are going to use? 60 floor and you need to finish it in one year you imagine what i mean you imagine what i mean how many type of concrete shutter how many type of concrete cast time it will cost columns slabs guys concrete technology and concrete knowledge is a huge yes of course high strength yes high strength F fastest city of course all of this okay i agree i agree but as well, there is a check the part from curing, the curing and shuttering system, and maybe as well post tension. You can have the a post tension section. Go for concrete and this technology and structure and structure technologies is very huge, and you can recast high strength. Yes, you can go for you can go you can go for this type of uh, knowledge, but I am giving you concentrated in your exam i'm going to concentrate focusing in the areas only for your exam but if you need more knowledge you can go for a particular areas as i discussed with you you buy all these admixtures are used to concrete in increasing reducing the heat and to increase workability and increase air content 
Admixtures to modify accelerator and redactor. All this one is already having in your slides. I am going to send the slides after the class, inshallah, today, now. All of you, you can read it. Accelerator, redactors, shorten, and the number normal concrete versus high strength concrete probabilities and differences. A concrete as a construction material are grouped as normal concrete or high strength concrete based on its compressive strength. The compressive strength of normal concrete has a value ranging, ranging is between 20 to 40 megapascal, megapascal, and the high strength concrete will have more above 40. With time, in the change in the history, the characteristics of factors between the normal and the high strength of concrete have also changed. 20 from the concrete with compressive strength to 28 MB was considered as high strength concrete. But now the concrete can is attain strength that is greater than 800. Yes, concrete now you can reduce the section, but you increase the strength. In terms of application, the normal strength concrete is the most used type compared with high strength concrete. The main objective of using high strength concrete is to reduce the, the weight creep or permeability you choose to improve the durability of the structure. The, the, to consider special architecture, uh, architectural considerations that demands for elements that carry heavy loads. Properties of normal and high strength concrete Whatever the type of concrete, say normal or high strength, the mixtures, the mixed fresh concrete must be plastic and semi-fluid. All the particles of sand, these guys, all of this type of uh, slides, you read it two times maximum in fresh concrete mixtures are in case together and they stay at suspicion. Hence, it's it's very necessary that the mixtures must not undergo bleeding. Of course, uniform distribution of aggregates is uniform distribution of aggregates in the concrete help, helps in controlling the segregation. Workability factors for normal and high strength concrete, as we know, Workability factor uh, reflects the ease in which concrete is placed, compacted, and finished in the fresh state, the normal strength. All of these ones, guys, you can read it. High strength concrete mix is often sticky. Bleeding factors normal and the high strength concrete, the settlement of solid particles of cement and the segregate in the fresh concrete mix result in the development of layer and water. When compared the, to normal stress concrete, the high strength concrete does not bleed. This is because the high strength concrete has more con water content, it's very important, and a high amount of simultaneous materials. The air and internet concrete also has less chance, the chances to bleed. Oh, this is not very important slides to read. All this one extracted from, extracted from extracted from QCS 2014, which I told you many times, try to read it. Probability of normal, probability of normal strength and high strength concrete, all durability concerns like corrosion, resistance, resistance to chemical attacks, all of this one is probability of concrete only if foreign says the uh, substance entrance inside the concrete damages occurs for sure. The probability of concrete depends on the probability, probability related to with the base and the aggregates present in the concrete. Decrease in permeability helps in as much as you decrease the permeability, you are going to have a good, a, a good product and the good quality concrete product improves the sulfate and the chemical attacks, resistant if corrosion, resistant to chloride penetration, lower 
the water cemetery she was educated during period helps in having a concrete of lower permeability for normal strength concrete permeability is found in the to range one multiply 10 minus 10 minus o oh, power 10 centimeter second additional of uh, supplementary uh, simultaneous uh, materials into the concrete mix like silica fume and fly ash and ZGPFS helps in reducing permeability of the concrete points to remember for civil engineer for site engineers at site following the few general go for your general comments general notes in any structure any structure elements drawings any structure drawings any project have a structure drawings go for a general note from this general notes made it if you don't have i am going to send tomorrow morning a particular uh, a particular general notes for a structure uh, design for a structure design for a structure drawings and uh, one of my projects and you can read them you found all whatever we have right now in our this general notes read the general notes is very important aside with the qcs whatever i sections i give it to you right now and inshallah everything will be okay this one is labbing between the uh, labbing is not allowed for the bars having diameters more than 36 mm chair and the longitudinal reinforcement not less than 8.8 percent minimum bars of square columns casa minimum bars for slab cassette. all this type of i'm going to knowledge read it one time two time everything will be okay important notes minimum thickness of slab is 125 mm all this information in qc out qcs 2014 and concrete section dimension tolerance of tube plus minus guys minus is missing free all free fall for of concrete is allowed maximum to 1.5 or even you have a different shattering system might be until six meter but if you have convention is 1.5 lab slices not be used for bar larger than 630 m already repeated water absorption if breaks should not be more than 15 percent bh value of water should be not less than six compressive strength of break is 3.5 newton over over mm square any steel enforcement bending wire required is eight kilogram per metric ton in soil filling as there's ic uh, standard international standard goods is three samples samples which been taken for core cutting test for every hundred square hundred meter all this type of knowledge, very important notes to mobilize in our exam. I'm just focusing what it congested in this paper. You read them and, and focus on our questions in our exam. Dynasty of material, we have breaks, concrete, break, concrete block, and we have reinforcement concrete is from 2310 to 2700, but in our exam is 2400. Curing of RCC members for different types of cements. Super sulfate cement is seven days. Ordinary Portland cement is OBC is 10 days and the minerals and the admixtures added cement is 14 days. Deshuttering time for different, different sections. Well, RCC members we have for columns, walls, vertical forms. We have 16 to 24 hours sulfate for more. We have three days props to be fixed again the props to be stay and we can remove after three days soffit for beams props seven days beams spanning up to 4.5 meters seven days beam spanning over 4.5 meter 14 days arches and uh, and arches and uh, spanning from up to six meter is 14 days Cube sampling, samples required for different, different quality, the different, different quantity of concrete, quantity of concrete. If you have one to five cubic meter, we have one number. Six to 15 is two numbers. 16 to 30 is three numbers. 31 to 50 is four numbers. Above 50, we have each 50, we have one. Yeah, and if you have 100, that's meaning you have six, uh, five cubes, okay? 
Like we have now, guys, is 8.20. I'm going to take 10 minutes and we are going to start our own exam right now. We are going to have exam. Exam number, this is our exam. We have exam number one as a trial. This is a question number one. And I am going to come back for all of you to solve this exam together. Make a table, show whatever your score, get your score. Let us see your score from 27 question exam. All these questions is related to concrete only, okay? I am going to start this one exam after exactly 10 minutes from now. What time now is eight, let us see. Is 8.21, we come back, 8.31. 831 guys okay 831 exactly i'm going to come back let us have a cup of tea and we'll come back 831 
Hello, everybody. I already sent. Uh, hello, guys. I already sent the slides. Whatever you already have now in our WhatsApp group. You check your WhatsApp group. You will find our slides for whatever we had right now for concrete technology. Okay. Ready. Very good. Let us see. Let us see. We will go in hurry because it's almost a common common sense and always all of us have this common knowledge okay very good let us go number one separation of course of course aggregates from mortar during transportation is known as 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 bleeding craving segregation shrinkage and Segregation. Oh, wow. Very good. The answer is C. You are number one. Very good. <laughs> write it down. Write it down and let us see. Let us write it down and let us see what is your score. Let's write it down. No, one over one. Okay, very good. Let us go for number two. Grading of sand causes grid variation in workability, strength of concrete, durability. Handy, all above, all above, A, B, C, D, E, okay, grading, okay, very good, it seems all of you, correct, all of you, all above, oh wow, fantastic, all above, all above, the answer, all above, the answer is E, right, very good. Number three, shrinkage in concrete can be reduced by using mm. the answer, the answer, write it down, write it down, write it down, the answer, I am going to be in, wow, very fast, you are very fast, all of you, all, <laughs> the answer is, E, wow, the answer is E, all above. <laughs> okay, don't account on all, account on all above, huh? sometimes this is wrong. <laughs> Guys, be careful, huh? E, be careful. Okay, number four. The wet concrete may causes, cause weakness, excessive segregation. Mm. Mm. Number four. Number four, guys. Mm. Number four. E, all above, correct, guys, correct. All above. The answer is E. Tab number five. Hardening of concrete occurs at. I am going to send this exam after the class. Don't worry, the 27 with all the answers, I am going to send it after the class. Don't worry. If you have a mistake in something wrong and you repeat it again, one time again, and everything will be okay. Okay, C and we have D, I believe. We have D. Okay, question number five. Herding, rabbit, during, which is the answer. Mm, wow. Very fast, you are very fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. A, A, A. I believe, I believe all of you wrong. The answer is D. <laughs> the answer is D. <laughs> Rabbit rain during the first few days and afterwards it's continuous in, to increase at a decrease rate. How come guys? It's <laughs> read it again, read it again, read it again. Read it again, and I am going to send it, and we can discuss through WhatsApp. But anyway, big, the answer is not of this. Pick up the correct statement from the following. Be careful, huh? <laughs> Be careful. E -E oh, very fast. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> you are very fast, guys. What is this? 
<laughs> okay, good, good, good. The, the answer all about. The answer is all about. Right. Okay. Look up the is a correct statement for the following. <laughs> eh, confused, huh? <laughs> C, C, question C. <laughs> e, yes, it's correct. E is correct answer. Guys, E is correct answer. Number A. I'm going to send this ones, all of you, as um, hard copy. Uh, so soft copy. You can print it hard copy and remove the answer. Remove the answer and repeat it again. You can hide the answer by sticker or by collector or whatever. You are asked to construct a massive dam. Massive dam. Okay. Massive dam. Massive dam. Mm, B, C, B, C, massive dam. Massive dam. B, C, rapid hydring, ha hardening cement or well, low heat? Low heat, guys, low heat. The answer is C. It's low heat. The answer is C. Number nine. Water required bare bag of cement. Mm. Water cement ratio, water cement ratio, guys. Eh? Always how much? Oh, uh, average 0.7. Water cement ratio is 0 0.7. 0 0.7. If you have 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Okay, Yuka, the water required for bag 35. Answer is E. Let me check all of you get it or not. E, perfect. Perfect. See, very simple questions in your exam. Yes. This is a type of your questions, yes. This is 27 from previous exams. And we have a lot of questions coming in our exams in exam number 15, 16, 17, 18, which I'm going to send to all of you. Don't worry, guys, we still have. This class is the fifth class. We still have five more and one additional or two additional. Don't worry. We still have time. So we still have time. I am not going to give all these 18 exams now. I'm going to give it later. Wait, guys. I have plan for all of you. The process of handling, hardening the concrete by keeping that service. See, very simple. One, none of this. Oh, very beautiful. None of this. None of this. No, of course not. See, very perfect, guys. See. Curing. The answer is C. Right. Workability. Remember, remember, workability of concrete for a given water content is good if the aggregate are. Mm, perfect. Perfect. The answer is A. Correct. Now, you are in the mood, all of you. The answer is A, perfect. I have very clever engineers in this patch. Very good. <laughs> very good type. 12. For compacting, plain concrete, road service of thickness less than 20 centimeter. We use what type of vibrator? To combat. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Again, 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 for compacting blank concrete, which is answer, which is answer, which is answer, B, 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 secrete 
vibrator, correct, the answer is B. <clears throat> Number 13, pick up the correct statement for the following. Construction joints are necessarily planned for their location, of course. Expansion joints are provided to accommodate thermal expansion. Mm, yeah. Something wrong or something right, okay. Construction joints are provided to control shrinkage. <laughs> very fast, very fast, very fast. <laughs> no, sir, you are ready to <laughs> The answer is E. <laughs> the answer is E, guys. All above. The answer is correct. Expansion joints need to not provide it in foundation concrete. Sir. We don't have a expansion in concrete in foundation. Foundation, we don't provide any expansions. But we put in column. Nick column, once you start in column, we put in the Nick column and in columns. The answer is E. Correct. Process of keeping, again, concrete moist for a certain period after casting is none above, none of above. Very fast, Oro. all of you very fast, guys. Wow. Let me check. B. Oh, very good. B. Correct. B. The answer is curing. B. Hmm. Sam, slam test for concrete used to test. Used to test. What? 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 The answer is A. Workability. All of us. For sure. See? All of you. This is the way of our... Your exams, guys, in, your, in our exams, there is 27 questions. This 27 questions is... There is two... Uh, there is from three to seven three to seven questions is not is far away from all our knowledge three to seven you can say like that it's depend about from engineer to engineer because this 27 question is extracted from from server which have database uh, i don't know how many questions you have in database but we have enough questions from previous exam anyway so in in your exam you will find out maybe three to seven questions is you far away it's far away from civil engineering knowledge okay uh, maybe you, you are forget about them but you have to deal with them how you are going to deal with them with common sense i am going to give you i'm going to talk about how you are going to deal with your exam time and manage your exam time later don't worry later we are going to discuss about this one we are going to discuss how you are going to deal with your exam time I am going to guide you very well. Don't worry about this one. We still have time. I'm just focusing now in, my, in topics and I'm trying to give all the information we have in our session. And we are going to dedicate a particular time to discuss about the plan, how you are going to deal with your exam and the manage your exam time. Let us see. Weight of reinforcement concrete in kilogram in cubic meter is, I told you, I told you, For sure, all of you, D. Let me see. D, 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 okay. <laughs> Number 17, strength of concrete depends on? Oh, we have very fast engineer. Knows the Lucy, and we have Anwar, Sivanans, and Nasser, say, Oh, wow! <laughs> Very good. The answer is E. The compaction of concrete improves. Compaction of concrete improves. Mm -hmm. The answer is, answer is, wow, very fast. The answer is D. 
correct all above all above correct guys very good i'm appreciating all of you really you are, you are doing good with me very good very good the answer is e this d sorry d time segregation is responsible for honeycombed concrete various layers in concrete service scaling in concrete sand streaks in concrete all above honeycombing always layer service scaling sand streaks all above all above very good try to memorize the answer segregation is have a lot of defects all for the defects is correct Addition of ozolona to cement decreases workability, increases decreases workability, increases strength, increases heat of hydration, decreases curing time. None of this. Uh, guys, additional addition of ozolona. We put ozolona to increase, increase. Increase, let me see. E, e, say it, say it, say it, say it, B, I, A, say it is B, correct, uh, say it, the answer is B. <laughs> see, no, 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 just gonna, no, no, the answer is B. Increases strength, increases strength. Barcelona is increases strength. Try to, this is, okay, this is now knowledge, more knowledge, and the more information you get now, oh, it's okay. Is increase the strength. Concrete gains strength due to chemical reaction of cement with sand and coarse aggregate, evaporation of water from cement from concrete, hydration of cement, hydration of cement gains strength. Hmm. What's the answer? Let me check all of you can. D D D D D A. Ah A, A D D D E. Oh, see, let us see. The answer is C. <laughs> hydration of cement. Guys, hydration of cement. It's not all about. It's not all, it's not every time all about. Please, guys. Okay, expansion joints are provided if the length of concrete structures exceeded than exceeds than this is wrong. This should be 25. C should be 25, 10, 15, 25, 35, and 45. A C is wrong. C should be 25. I will rectify this one. Question number 20. The answer is the answer is D. Perfect. The answer is D, guys. It's not E. It will reach until 50 meter. It reach until 50 meter. Does exceed until 45. This is a maximum. Correct. Does exceed than 45. But sometimes we bought until 50, but does not exceed than 50 at all. Never. Never. Check your check any construct any uh, any building in your site. If this building have, mesela, for example, seventy five lens lens as a lens of the building is uh, uh, thirty five. Whatever the height, no, no, not I'm not care about the height of the building. I'm talking about the lens of the building. To check the lens of the building, you will find the, uh, the expansion joint in the middle of the building. Uh, check check. The answer is E. Workability improved by adding fly ash, well hydrated, hydrated lime, well calcium chloride, well bentonite. Workability, guys, workability, we are adding, adding all above. We are, let us see your answers. Let us see your answers. Again, I am putting an option. E, 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 A, A, fly ashes, why not D? Why <laughs> the answer is E correct? Bantonite is 
calcium chloride, hydrated, hydrated lime, all of them giving workability improved to adding. Fly ashes is correct, hydrated lime is correct, calcium chloride is correct, pantonite is correct. All of them, all. Type 25. If the slum of a concrete mix is 60 mm, its workability describes uh, this type of product. You have a concrete slum, slum test giving you what is the what is the concrete material description? The workability is very low, or the low, or the medium, or the high, or the none of this. Medium B A medium is correct. Medium is correct. The answer is C medium. When you read when you read our QCS 2014, our concrete section, you will you will you will memorize a lot of information and you need to read them yes carefully. Number 25 hydration of cement is due to chemical action of water, which try calcium silicate and decalcium silicate, decalcium silicate and try tri calcium eliminate, whatever. Hmm, what is the answer? <laughs> Show it all of you. <laughs> Don't do. <laughs> The answer is the answer is all above. The answer is all above. All above. All above. All above. I know this type of knowledge, all of us forget about this one because it's chemical engineer. But anyway, this is what have what we have. The answer is D type. Steel. Why steel enforcement? Why steel enforcement? Oh, why steel enforcement is used? in RCC structure. You have four options, I told you. All of them correct. But the most correct answer is B, is the coefficient of, assume you have, assume you have E, answer E, let's call it all above. I choose all above. Okay, guys, this is very tricky. If you have questions number 26 is like four options, it choose the coefficient. If you have five options like E is all above, choose all above. Number 27, very important. Concrete slam tests, steel enforcement, sampling tests, and others material tests. We did sampling, we did an inspection, we did all this type of test related to, to Related to a very important part to control is to achieve high performance for sure, hundred percent, for sure, hundred percent to achieve high performance for control quality for sure to control for achieving quality assurance plan. No, all above. No, we have A and B. Which one? Which one? Let me check. B, perfect. B, guys, that two for control quality achieving high performance. High performance is a lot of the uh, high performance is a lot of definition. High performance is not a particular terms to for sampling test. A particular sampling test just go for control quality. When you have test inspection, test inspection for any product or any uh, sub product or even sub derivables, you have what you have our activities. You have it seems is going for quality control, okay? The answer is B. The answer is B. Achieving quality assurance plan, your process. You're, you are auditing your process and you found out there is no, no NCRs. If you are going to have a process which is giving NCRs and audit NCRs and you have minimum, minimum defects related to your product as an inspection, and inspection and uh, test, that's meaning you have a very comprehensive QAQC plan. Okay, all above. The answer is O, the answer is control quality. Now we finish 
concrete part, I told you that we have another part. The third part, we are going to talk about structure analysis. I am giving now, I will send all this exam for all of you. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to send it all of you. Maybe after the class or tomorrow morning. I'm, let me check. I'm going to send it for all of you. Exam number one. This is a part from your exams. Can you please go back for which number seven? Twelve, seven, twelve, and twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Expansion joints are provided if the length of concrete structure exceeds than forty-five. The answer is 40. This is, should be 25. I will 25. Okay, this is a number 17, number 12, number 12, number 12, number 12. Number 12. For compacting plain concrete throat surface of thickness less than 20 centimeter, we use secrete vibrator. Yes, we have secrete vibrator. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Pick up the correct statement from the following. Higher workability indicates unexpected increase in the moisture's content. Higher workability indicates efficiency of deficiency of sand. If the if the concrete mix is dry. The slam is zero. Concrete mix having zero slam is unsuitable for higher strengths. The answer is A. Higher workability indicates unexpected increase in the moisture content. Increase in the moisture content. Okay, higher workability indicates indicates of sand. Deficiency of sand indicates deficiency of sand. Of course, if the concrete mix is dry, the slum is zero. All of them correct. Concrete mix having zero slum is unsuitable for higher high stress. This is correct. What is the problem here? All of them are big up the correct statement. All of them correct statement. Okay. Any problem? I, I will save this one now. And I will be send it for all of you. Let me check whatever. I will send it this one here for all of you. Thanks. Okay, very good. Time. We will come back now to our structure a structure analysis and let us review what we have. We discuss about frames, beams shear, normal, uh, bending moment. We discuss about how to draw the shear force, normal force, bending moment, and how we are de uh, define the internal force for truss. You remember that stresses we stop in the method of joint. We will discuss today about the second part from trusses, and I am going to dedicate it another time for slope and deflection. A slope and deflection is very important, very, very, very important why we are going to talk about it, but we will not talk about it today. We'll discuss today about very important part, which is already what? Trusses. Trusses, we have two parts today. We will discuss about the two parts. Which part? The first part is zero force members. How you are going to identify and determine the zero force member without calculation. You just only use uh, two rules. We are going to have two rules now. We'll discuss about our two rules now. And from these two rules, we will identify the zero force members without any calculation. I will give you rule number one. What's rule number one? I'm giving you example. Rule number one is if you have joint, joint have two members. For example, you have truss like that. This truss 
a beautiful truss like that. You have a truss like this. This is joint member, joint, and another member. And you have you have trust like that. How many joints now? Three. Assume I'm giving you three. You have three joint multiply two. Multiply two is equal six. Okay. What about the other a equation? Three unknowns. We have three unknowns plus three members equals six. This truss is stable. You put force here. Assume you put force here 10 kilonewton, 10 newton or whatever. The fairest, fairest rule is telling you what. If you have joint, add a joint here. Have two members, add a members and the members. One, two, two members. And the angle between the two members is not 180 degree, is not 180 degree. And there is no external force, no any external force in this joint. Which joint? A, B, C. You have A, B, C. Joint B, no any external forces. Did you have any external forces now? No. And what else? And this joint is not in, in, a, in, a, in a support. It's not in support. It means a free joint. Free joint. Yeah, and there is no any support, no external force. And the angle between them is one, it's not 180 degree, is not 180 degree. That's mean what this zero member and this is zero member. Another plus. For sure, this one is not stable. You have force here in, whatever. So that's meaning what? This is the joint I am talking about. This joint have two members at one, two. The angle between them is not 180 degree, is not 180 degree. Okay, and else, what else? No external force. There is no any external force in this joint. And it's not on support. That means what this zero member, zero force member, if a zero, zero, directly without any calculation. Don't calculate. If you even calculate, you will find it zero. Zero. For sure, 100% zero members. This rule number one, if rule number one, if you have two joint, uh, one joint, this one joint have two members, you have a joint, this is a joint, have two members, add two members. And this joint is not in support. There is no external force. And the angle between them is one, it's not 180 degree. You, uh, that's meaning what is zero. And this is zero member, cross, zero internal force. You, uh, this is rule number one. What about rule number two? Rule number two. Rule number two. You have Trust, joint, member, joint, member, member, joint, sorry, member, member, support, support, Okay, and you have force here. 
sorry, force here. Then caps. Okay, this joint A B what do you can join B? This B join B have how many members add one? Joint add one member, two members, three members. Okay. If this joint have three members, okay, very good. Have three members. We have three members. Add one, two, three. Okay, very good. And this joint, what happened in this joint? There is no any external force. There is no any external force. There is any external force? No. It's not in support? No. And the, the members one and the member three is 180 degree between them, 180 degree. Colonies, the two members are colonies. That means the angle between them is 180 degrees. That mean, means what? means member number two is zero member number two is equal zero again joint number b joint b have three members add one two three one two three in this case okay uh, whatever here one two three one member and two members they are colonial between them is 180 degree and the joint, there is no any external force. No external force. It's not in support. Means what? Means this member three is zero. Okay, let me have another truss. 